You don't say. All right, let's... Run. My heart. Oh, damn it. Floating a few good miles out by now. Uh, am I the lone survivor? Which means I better get a move on. All right, thank you. Grab that seashell. Creep. Gold. Another shell. Only one gold, but you know, it all adds up sooner or later. Light range indicator. Shift. E. I'm supposed to be pretty decent. But, uh, actually, there is a way up here. There is, and there's a green marker. What is green? Only that flower pot weighs too much. Suppose I should get rid of this water barrel too. Not worth anything. That's broken. Brachus Rex. The fella builds his throne on the backs of thousands, and the order lets his statue stand. Tam. Hello, Tam. The child has a small mirror in his hands. He holds it up at angles, inspecting his eyes, his chin, the crown of his head. He spots you, and his arms snap to his sides. I'm not supposed to talk to dwarves. <laughs> I don't talk to stupid kids. The child considers your statement. You're weird. You got to sell. We got some lock picks. Give me those. Oh my gosh. Uh, how about paintings? And a gold cup. No. Paintings. One of those. Kid's gonna take me for everything I have. Uh, there we go. I think that's fair. What's this? cost too much. Thank you very much. Are you a sorcerer? One of those guys that brings the bad void things here. Uh, do I look like one, sucker? The child looks at you straight on, unafraid, searching your face. He lifts his mirror to his nose, closes one eye, and looks at himself again. I don't see any sauce on you or me. I guess they're wrong or crazy. Or both. <laughs> Maybe you're right. At least they don't mind where anyone goes. They know we can't leave the island. And it's a lot nicer out here than outside. Uh, where are your parents at? They're gone now. The Magisters took them already. I guess now they're cured. And maybe they're waiting for me back at home. You need to get out of here. But you didn't die. Almost did, though. There isn't anywhere safer. That's what I mean. You'll see. I guess I am. 
but it's just normal to be scared. Nowhere isn't scary. All right, kid. We're out of here. All right, not going that way. We got to go fight those. Uh... Well, we actually don't know what they were. Going solid snake. Boom. 36 HP. I can sneak up on them. Hang on. Take that. Take that. We'll have to move behind. Cheap you. Yes. Okay. Petrified. Move behind you. And uh, can't do anything else. Okay, so I should be getting backstab damage here. Beautiful. One more time. Come on, man. Where's the kill? Dead. Enough. All right, one dead. A potion. Meant to use my tentacle. This is bad. He's at full health now. It's worth it. So I did four and two. And now I'll do six and three. Not worth it. Really? Three attacks? Let's bring the game. Increases as the more crimes are committed and naturally in certain high areas. Okay, interesting. Uh, we're gonna do this again. Actually. It lit on fire.
class two. Almost killed it. Come on, man. Double attack. Again. That regen is kicking my butt. Through healing. I thought these bloody collars were supposed to keep those things at bay. Got my HP back from that level up too. Drowned and eaten by a void woken. Now I wonder in which order. I don't see anything on the ground. Yes, I leveled up. Inventory. Alright, so I got two points here. Oh. I was like, I want to see if they'll let me go into two finesse. Turns out they do. That's fine. I think we're about wits right now. Okay. Here's where things get in me. Uh, is it necessary for me to get these right now? Probably not. You want to dual wield? Gives me damage and dodging. So, go. Oh, we only have one. Okay, that works. All right. Now, do I want to be a persuady character? Not really. Um, put a point into thievery. That sounds fun. Let's move on. Got my one gold. It's boring. Sharp rock. Very different from a regular rock. It's ah. Nothing over here. But I see a friend. What's happening, yo? You spot a strange lizard gazing over the water with a steady, malcontent stare. His skin is of a bright blood red color. Could he be. Yes, you recognize him from the ship. It would seem you're not the only one who survived the tentacles of the deep. Um, hmm. smirk. The lizard turns about with the graceful ease of a dancer or a duelist. You lock eyes with his two smoldering embers that sizzle your very soul. And a dutiful servant you are too. The chances are I wouldn't have survived that shipwreck. Did you not return to the aid of your master down that dreadful hold? You have my gratitude. 
Hand over heart, he salutes you with a bob of the head. More than a nod, though less than a bow. <laughs> Uh, you, uh, you owe me a little bit more. My gratitude is worth a great deal, if only you'd realize it. But of course you don't, so we'll leave it at that. As for the slave thing, let's forget about all that, shall we? One good turn deserves another, so you may as well have your freedom. That's right. Now then, if there's nothing further... Uh, what you doing? I'm sure I don't mean to sound condescending, but... I had thought it quite self-evident I was gazing out over the waves. He sighs dramatically. Tell me, what do you see when you cast your glance over this ocean? Go with the beast option, see everything. You're everything. We see much the same then, in our own ways. He looks out over the water once more, and so do you. A few tranquil moments pass as the waves lap against your thoughts. As for myself, when I consider this vast expanse before us, I see an empire. I see continents dotted with mighty cities. And shimmering along the soft curve of the sea's horizon, I picture the palaces that formed my paradise. Lost. Uh, let's go with the third option. Yes, but these weren't castles in the sky, were they? Quite obviously, I was musing over the very actual empire that I lost. Suddenly, having all the air of being deeply offended, he stares at you with utter incredulity. Well, don't just stand there gawking like an ape at an abacus. Or do you really mean to tell me you don't know who I am? Uh... Sure, let's go with the noble option. The very same. I am the Red Prince, the All Conqueror, the World Tamer, the Spouse of the Sun. Of course you know me. There's a brief moment's pause, during which his grandiloquent pose deflates ever so slightly. Grandiloquent. I like that word. That said, I suppose I must own up to the fact that I find myself rather in between all-conquering and world-taming opportunities at the moment. The grandeur that is my fate has uh, hit a bit of a snag. But never you worry. For the throne I was destined, and my throne I shall have. <laughs> um... Maybe you can maybe you can tag along. This and that. Tag along. Do you really mean to compare the fate of an empire to whatever foibles you seek to fix? On the other hand, I really could do with a dog's body. And you've already proven to be trustworthy enough. You came back for the others on that ship, after all. Fine, I accept. On one condition. For reasons I'll not disclose right now, it is imperative that I should meet with a dreamer, one of the mystics of my kind. I've reason to believe one of them may be present on this island. Promise me we'll look for him, and I'll extend you the blessing of my company. Sure, I'll promise you. Jolly good. So, now that that's settled, first things first. Even if you are as versed in the art of eloquence as I am, that our swords will be doing a lot of the talking from here on out goes without saying. As a born fighter, I prefer the perfection of the blade myself. But I'm well acquainted with the secrets of magic and, yes, even subterfuge. What say you? Uh, quick save right now. Um... Your martial experience. Do, do not take my elegance as a mask for frailty. My blows shatter shields, and my thrusts pierce armor. If a warrior you need, the warrior you'll have. Hmm. I 
Executioner sounds great. Very well. Onwards then to victory or death. The Red Prince nods and gives you a smile that wavers ever so delicately between courtesy and contempt. Now, as you're away, you'll be traveling with a prince. Proper forms of address include your majesty, your royal highness, or, or if you're feeling particularly frivolous, me lord. As your luck would have it, I seem to be fresh out of luggage, so you won't be required to carry my belongings. Of course, there are other forms of protocol to bear in mind, but I'll see to it you'll pick up the rest as we go. So, without further ado, let us be off! More party members! All right, pull your party portraits apart to unchain them. Breaking the chain stops them from following the party. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, one thing I want to do. A drag. All this stuff over here. All this weird stuff. Okay. We got some spells. Got Flurry. Flurry doesn't really seem that good, but you know, whatever. Okay. Oh, so I don't have access to the other one. Fascinating. What do you got? All this stuff over here. Got all in. So he's all about dealing the damage. He's, well, he put everything in warfare. Okay. I see you. Uh, so you got some persuasion. Opportunist. Nice. Bartering, come on, man. What are you bartering for? The handed in warfare. Constitute. Okay. Oh. I should actually see if I can equip him with anything of use. There we go. Some armor. I guess I don't have that bucket anymore. Can't quite give him that. Let's go. One over here. But let's go explore over here real quick. Mushroom. A chest up there. A black cat. A herald of wisdom in my homeland. How fortuitous. The cat's eyes are clouded and grey, but it stares at you with acute intensity. Its eyes clear, and it shakes its head, confused. Okay. Can't talk to cats yet. And it's, I guess it's following us.
we've got over here? Rice? Hey, mister. It's a lot nicer here than that stinking boat, huh? I'm sure glad you went back to save the others. Saw one of them wringing out their tunic at the shore a few hours ago. Say hi for me. Give me your money. Now where should I put this one? My seashells. Rubbish. Unk. Uh, wow, beer sells for seven? And I didn't pick up all the beers? Bones. A lot of people over here. He hasn't changed a bit. Always late. Oh, this is the the town. Looky, looky here, mates. A fresh face. We love fresh faces, don't we? Oh, yes, we do. Before I kill you. Let me, uh, let me sell you some stuff. Thank you. Why don't you join us in a round of cards? First hands on the house. I'm good. I'm good, man. No problem, Freshy. In that case, enjoy your stay. But I'll be needing to collect your interment fee first, of course. Uh, what is that about? I'm sure the Reds told you. No one gets along without paying the interment fee. So, let's make this easy. Empty your pockets. That guy's level two, man. No way I could take him on. But we could we could try to run. Are you really gonna make this so hard, Freshy? Yeah, we. Are. I mean, we just we just. Go on then. Whatever pennies you've got in your pocket ain't worth my breath. But don't you go telling Griff I was soft on you. Another inmate, but you wouldn't guess it. Runs this place like he's Dallas herself. Shouldn't be too hard to find him in the kitchen, but he doesn't take too kindly to your kind. Thanks for being a bro. The priest's jaws might be sewn shut with fishing wire, so harshly do they clench at the sight of you. He speaks one clipped, precise syllable. Got the trade. Alright, always gotta check that. Son. Uh, demand the respect of a warrior. You've earned nothing but a boot in your liquor. It's only doing as grace keeping my foot at bay. Do you truly not know the price our people paid after your hasty revolution? Do you think your merry band could try to toss Justinia into the sea and the clouds would turn to rainbows? A storm of your making still rages, and whenever word of your deeds reaches her ears, lightning strikes. When your flunkies scream for revolution, I know what they're really screaming for, beast. And I know it's dwarven blood being shed. Hmm. Um, yeah, religious sorts are all the same. I would sooner implore Duna to intervene than to leave behind a trail of crimson limbs for the innocent to clean away. The priest collects himself. His eyes still burn, but his words are ice. May the seven bless you, beast. But I am a warrior. Yeah, there's a bucket. over us all. A little respect for Griff's right hand. Who equipped that? He looks silly. But I'm not 
times it's necessary. Okay, well, I didn't I didn't take anything. Not yet. The woman is scrabbling at her throat as though she can hardly breathe. <laughs> Cock your head and watch her choke. <laughs> Let's do it. <coughs> How can you stand it? Uh, what you got? Ain't got nothing. Uh, there's nothing you can't stand. Would that I were like you. I feel this collar choking the life from me. It's all I can think of. Her hands move again to her throat. She seems to try to make space between her neck and the collar, but there's no space to be made. What of it? Okay. Yeah, what of it? It's getting tighter. I can, I can hardly breathe. Yeah, well, you have fun with that. I like how I could just rob this fish rack, but I can't, like, rob anything else. Oh, no, I can take those. You get not watching your stall. What's up, Lazlor? The dwarf slaps his knees and chest until a buoyant rhythm develops and begins to, well, not sing exactly, but chant. Yeah. You got six gold. Um... Get rid of some of the... Nice doing business with you. They stole me boots and burned me hat. But beast of the sea will come asking for me. They locked me up with a pig and a rat. But beast of the sea will come asking for me. Oh, not bad for being off the top of me head. He bows to an almost comical depth, then rises and laughs. Welcome to the joy, my famed friend. Hmm. Go to scowl. Well, I admit it ain't my best, but I figured you're tired of hearing the usual shanties. Though I know them ones too. No shortage of beast ballads out there, if you'd rather hear one of the classics. Yeah, what do you know about me? You can thank me sister for it. We're a band we were. The Whistling Warriors. At least we were till I got shipped off. With serenade music lovers and tolerators from the kingdom and beyond. His voice drops to an excited whisper. I heard you once rode a serpent to a sea city, heeding a mermaid choir's melody. And that they begged for the beast of their dreams to make love to them all twice over. Tell me for true. Oh yeah, we, we, we are confirming that story. Call it as I see it. Your legend lives, and only the fearsome rebel song will do, I say. You ain't here, the wild beast just sails on the ocean, deep ducked in the bay, and coming your way. Off in the yarn, you hear the commotion, deep ducked in the bay, and coming your way. Your cupboard can't hid you, and nor can you birth. His daggers don't care about the girl that you're worth. He'll bury your bones neath the mountain of earth. He's ducked in the bay and a come in your way. All right, that was I. Oh, take nothing. 
The sailors sing what's in their hearts. Keep spirits high when the sails droop. They still hum your praises, you know. The rebellion is strong. The harder the Queen strikes, the louder they sing. They'd follow you to the void and back if you ordered it. Yet so quickly we find nah, that's not. What in his death caused it? So void woke Got a light helmet in there? But why? Keep a name out your mouth. When another divine arises, we'll see. Come on, man. Ooh, that's twenty two gold. Okay. Uh, I actually know what happens here. And we're going to avoid that just for now. Thing tail. Um, some stuff happens there. The guy's level two. I'm level one. I'm going to have to fight things. Um, apparently that's all stealing, even though there's nobody there. It's Buddy! Still can't talk to dogs. Frightfully busy at the moment, love. Haven't got any liquor on hand, have you? This fella could use a little comfort. Yeah. Ooh. You sell some stuff that I would be interested in if I had money. Um, Bullhorns would actually be really good for, to help me close distance. Um, pretty sure I don't have... Nearly enough money to actually assist. Um, yeah, we'll help out. Wait, well, look at that. Just what I ordered. Ain't you a peach, love? An old deal here would thank you too if he could. Poor fella over there crossed one of Griff's card sharks and got a club to the skull. Don't to be sure, but I'd like to ease his way out. Lucky you came out of it at all. Plenty of folks around of here haven't, and it's me who ends up wrist deep in the gore. Oh, out my, out my face. The man sleeps so deeply, he might as well be dead to the world. Well done. Like to pick up more party members. Problem is, I don't know where they all are. Guess we're just gonna have to search. That thing eating corpses. Right, you're uh and yeah, we don't have any elves. Not sure if we're gonna use the elf chick. The creature heaves through lips gummed with human gore. It turns to you with great effort, pain apparent in every movement, and madness screams from its wide, bloodshot eyes. Level four. You, 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 you. Quite lost. Quite lost. Quite lost. Careful, or they'll cross your wires. <laughs> now, a little query. Where grows the yarrow? Hmm? Hmm? Quickly now, for I haven't much time. Maybe I unscrew your lid and poke about inside and set your memory straight. Would that please you? Can you not remember now? Hmm. 
Hmm. Guess we'll go with the the beast option and run away. Where, oh, where does the yarrow grow? Where, where, where? Okay, well, move away. Move away again. Okay. That was dangerous. Oh, you're, what? You got a bounce too? Oh, you're dead. All right, that no, no. Nice. We'll just just let him do his thing. Where do we want to go now? I don't want to go in there yet. I happen to know what's over there. Uh, uh, hey, go on, keep moving. I guess I'll leave. I should read things. Just in case. Enjoy your stay, Halfney. <laughs> That's rude. Can't go that way. Nibora. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps of metal, the woman is manipulating a glove-like contraption fitted with five long metal skewers. She doesn't look up as you approach. And what you after? Ah, well, let's go with the door of option. Oh, why? Looking to buy? Sure. belongs to Dallas or oh, the hammer as you might have heard a Monica <laughs> I'm just having a tinker with it to try to figure it out you sure you're not looking to buy anything yeah you know, I prefer banter when it's with paying customers and yeah, where'd you get all this stuff found it in the scrap heap not so long ago we used to know each other back in the day you know Dallas and I never knew her to be much of a wrench head back in the day but once she joined the order she started turning out all manner of oddities. Um. Oh, I don't know. She was a sweet soul. Quiet. Loved her family. Always seemed strong, as I recall, but she didn't come across as no fearless military leader back then. She was just a girl. People do change, don't they? About these collars. She nods once. You looking to buy something? Or do you just want to waste my time with a whole lot of questions? Uh, how are the collars made? Magic and metal, like most of Dallas's designs. Metal keeps it locked. Magic makes it work. That's all I know. Tell me more. For you? <laughs> Hell no. Uh, who's worthy of her services? Worthy is exactly the right word. You know, someone who's proven himself might earn my time a day. Speaking of, you haven't. So buy or shove off. My goodness. You need to calm down. 
Or I kill your level two self. Where's the oil? Come on then, Legsman. Pay up. I find any bread. I want no trouble. Bread or brisket. Both sides. Uh, try to avoid those people. You keep his name out of your mouth. Okay, we're inside the town right now. We don't quite want to be inside the town. How do I fast travel? Fast travel. Waypoint travel. The beach. Travel. Okay. That's how you do it. Alright, there was a couple ways that I didn't go. Looking for at least one more party member. I know one of them is still out here. We didn't explore over there too much. Uh, a lot. Except it's a secret. And that's who I was looking for. As the alcove opens up, you see the same skeleton that you met on the boat before it sank. He's still not wearing his mask. He's leaning over a corpse, prodding and pulling at the skin of its face. Bugger. How on earth am I supposed to... Oh. Perhaps... Skeletal fingers reach down and grip the skin of the dead man's face, pulling sharply upwards. After a few more tugs at the man's cheeks, the skeleton relents, letting the head drop to the ground with a damp thud. Damnation. That stuck fast. I wonder, does the beard act as some form of anchor? Ah! No! Stay back! Don't... Oh, it's you. I must admit I'm surprised. Perhaps you're more buoyant than I suspected. Uh, I'm gonna turn off the mic here for a little bit. Music's playing. It's kind of loud. Guess I should turn off the webcam too. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, yes. An exceptionally common, but exceptionally valuable commodity. A face. A face that seems rather stubbornly attached to his skull. I would normally employ a tool to delicately, but viciously, rip the face from the body. I could then craft a mask to hide my bone. But, as I lack such a tool... The skeleton grabs the corpse by the cheeks and pulls hard, Grunty in frustration as the body's skin holds firm. Cut? Please. You hardly think I am one of your breed, do you? You have never seen anything like it because you have never met anyone like me. Simply put, I am an Eternal, and you are not. You have my sympathies. Indeed. No one seems to have the good taste to be. My people are rather... absent. At least from this realm. As for the others... Well... There is an excavation site at the Black Pit's oil fields. Perhaps there I'll find my answers. A 
cult? Hardly. We were a race that existed before the idea of race was needed. We were all one. I could ask you to imagine an Eternal as a creature of incredible intelligence and skill. But I fear the limits of your imagination would not do us justice. We studied the mysteries of the universe. We created works of great art. We... We disappeared. But I will find them. Wherever they are, I will find them. We will have our world again. Well, that hardly seems relevant. But if you must know, I was inconvenienced for a time. Several centuries, in fact, or perhaps millennia, one tends to lose track. I was sealed in a tomb for daring to be curious about the world. It seems our king did not agree that the universe should be explored to its full potential. Perhaps I should thank him. It seems I was spared whatever happened to the others. I wonder if flowers would be appropriate. Ah, well, that is the curious thing. They are clearly absent from this world, and yet they are everywhere. Every one of your races resembles them in some manner, and the statues you have built to your gods look remarkably familiar. Perhaps my people have ascended to some new realm. Or perhaps your gods are merely a folk memory. Regardless, they are not here. But I will find them. Wherever they are, I will find them. I suppose, circumstances being what they are, it could be advantageous. You seem more at ease in this world than I. A guide would certainly be useful. Excellent. While we are conversing, perhaps you notice that I am rather skilled in... Well, all things. Of course, the arcane arts are my little speciality. But being a brilliant wizard does not mean I cannot handle blade or bow. So, which do you require for this enterprise of yours? Much magic? I was controlling the powers of the universe while your people were still... Uh, ...doing whatever it is you used to do. What speciality would you prefer? I could do that with one hand behind my spine. Now, shall we get on? There is rather a lot to see. Splendid. Very well. Let's be off.
You hear a small whimpering sound from behind a basket. You peer behind it and find a small human child holding her knees and trembling. The child quiets and seems comforted by your presence. She looks up at you with curious eyes. A wide grin cracks across the child's face through her tears, showing two big gaps where her front teeth should be. She laughs. Really? Yeah, warrior princess Coral. You're nice. You can have this. I found it outside, but I can't read it yet. That's next year, and then I'll learn it. The child wipes her eyes and, grinning, plunks herself down on the earth and ground. She starts tracing shapes, hearts, stars, and diamonds into the dirt. Man, this means I have to start being a nice person. This is, uh... This is gonna be rough. Where is she? You go with us? Who are you? Are you from the shelter? She says nothing of another. Vera, alas! She is so late! A Magister offers to help us flee, Atusa. She says there are many Magisters who do not agree with the Bishop. She says they bring us to safety. But Atusa is overdue. She promises to come at noon. We are afraid to stay, afraid to leave. She says there is a shelter in the marshes outside the fort. She says she brings us there first. She knows a safe path. We wait for a boat, and then we go. Wherever, we make a new home. I'm actually really surprised that I'm level two. Um, there are three turtles down here. Yep, there's the other one. Like another one. Yeah, there it is right there. Um, really? Can I talk to them? Can you feel the darkness approaching? Did not expect. Does it cast a long shadow on you as it does me? My heart frosts over as if I've been violated by nothingness itself. It threatens to consume me. It threatens to consume all. What's happening to these turtles? They're, they're transforming.
and I got all excited because I was like, oh man, maybe I won't actually have to fight these guys. Come on, man. That, that wasn't even cool. Like, that wasn't even cool at all. Dagger to the throat. Come on, man. Can't be dying like that. That's just... This is not cool.
swallowed too much seawater by the looks of him. Foolish to attempt an escape by sea in these waters. this? I found something. Hey. I need to dig here. There's a man. One must put in due effort if one is to reap the proper reward. This is just incredibly satisfying to just do this. They did such a wonderful job. I am I'm enthralled by this technology. Fantastic. I love it. Moving on. Spotted something. I need to dig here. I am not opposed to manual labor if circumstances require. Stay back, sorcerer, and stay silent. Our Godwoken speaks. We know you've been helping sorcerers escape, Atusa. We have proof. I'd sooner cut my tongue out than lie to you, Alexander. I know nothing of any escapees. If you can tell the Godwoken no more, your tongue is of no use. Cut it out. This can't be serious, Alexander. Come! You should know by now to obey your superior, Magister, whatever she may ask.
Hattusa pinches the tip of her tongue with two fingers and brings her dagger to its root. Her eyes squeeze shut. Drops of blood form against the dagger's edge and quickly fall to the ground. She groans. Stop! My father, may his soul rest in peace, would be disappointed in you, Atusa. To think you would lie to his only son, your bishop, and your friend these many years. The fate of our realm hangs in the balance. If you will not help us save it, then you will help the Void destroy it. Dallas? Yes, Your Holiness. I believe we're done here. I just noticed that he has a collar on him as well, but she doesn't. And, I mean, interesting. Interesting. What a waste. Come, we'll be needed elsewhere. The Lizard Magister, or what's left of her, lies in a puddle of gore. She was a lizard, yet a magister. No matter her reasons, her penalty was fair. These creatures are so prone to violence, naturally, the weaker specimens suffer. Come on, old man. I can't wait all day. Did you see him? You did, right? Those claws. Wonder what's behind the masks, too. Can't be pretty. He hasn't changed a bit. Always late. That Magister, that was Bishop Alexander, leader of the Divine Order, and his right hand, Dallas. How do you not know this? Have you been living under a boulder? Alexander's the Divine's only natural son. Good man. I'm proud to serve him. Liberated my hometown from the Black Ring, he did. We never had such peace as we did with his battalion protecting us. Now, why don't you move along and settle in? A Magister will come and find you when they're ready for you. Could be a while, though. We're up to our hoods in sinners these days. <coughs> I got my eye on you, half stack. Don't try any of that sauce business on my watch, or I'll do to you what the hell I did to that traitor. <laughs> no, nope, never heard of it. Hang on. He suddenly goes quite red in the face, and his eyes flash with anger. You... you dare insult the Magister? Scum! I'd have you shackled, but what's the point? Soon enough you'll get that evil sucked right out of you, and then we'll all... I will not. That was on accident, but, uh... You get the gist. Did you see them, sir? Bishop Alexandra and the Hammer herself, they, they, they were so close, almost within arm's reach. A traitor cannot be murdered. A traitor can only receive their due. The Divine Order's all that stands between everything you see and a Void Woken's throat. Any traitor to them is a traitor to us all. Believe it or don't. 
The Divine Order doesn't need our loyalty. They'll save us in spite of ourselves. He. A fella can't hear himself think with all this racket. Day and night she hollers after that child. You hear that, Farah? You gotta cut that out. What's happened to you? Known her all my life. Her little girl, Irma, too. Farah was a straight shooting woman in those days. But now she's madder and a cuckoo and twice as loud. What else do you call hollering after a ghost? That child of hers she's shouting after has been dead and buried a month over. Killed by a void woken back in our own village. Never even stepped foot in Fort Joy. And there ain't no amount of hollering that'll bring her back. Move aside, dwarf. Move aside. I need to find my little girl. I need to find my baby. I, you're right. I'm sorry. My baby's been missing for days now, and no one here will lift a finger to help me find her. Irma's her name. I last saw her just here, near three days ago. She was playing with her little doll, and I was washing out her tunic. I turned from her for one moment, and she was gone. Left her doll behind, too. It's so unlike her. Yes, of course. Here, you should take it with you. When you find her, give her the doll and tell her, Mummy says this is for her little chicken, and it's time to come home. That's what I call her, my little chicken. She soaks up a steady stream of tears with her shirt sleeve. She ought to come with you then. She ought to follow you back to me. This place turns people cold, cold and wicked. That fellow Jeth over there speaks unutterable evil, but I can't move away from him. What if Irma comes back and I'm not here? You are an angel. Truly, you are. Come on, old man. I can't wait all day. Irma, mummy's right here. Where are you? Come on then, Legsy. Pay up. You, help me teach this beast. He must respect. If not, he comes for you next. Respect? Huh. <laughs> Someone's got to keep this place running. Griff can't do it for free. Why'd you gotta make this so hard? An intense-looking man steps between the thug and the elf and rolls up his sleeves, revealing well-muscled and heavily scarred arms. You recognize him. It's Ifan, who you met aboard the ship on the way here. Just stand aside, won't you, mate? This is no business of yours. Lone wolves decide their own business. The thug freezes in fear for a moment before shuffling back to the protection of his crony. Pay up, elf. No one shorts Griff, especially not one of you. Everyone in camp's got to contribute. For food, for protection, no exceptions. Especially not for elves. Griff's orders. Food? Protection? I have neither. Runs the kitchen. Means he runs me, you, and everyone else in camp.
You two ought to be thanking your lucky gods it's us, and not the magisters enforcing round here. A fool never knows what they've got till it's well and gone. Now come on, Elf. If you make me say it again, there's gonna be trouble. Burrow looks you up and down, sizing up your threat. Ah, get out of here, the both of you. You ain't worth the sweat of my brow anyhow. The elf smiles and bows to you in thanks. Follow me, before more of them trouble us. Oh my gosh. That was a ton of experience. Let's go. There is a safe place. Pifan rolls his sleeves back down. He nods at you, the shadow of a smile on his lips. Good work there. Good work. I can tell you've got chops. Say, you were on the ship here with me, weren't you? He stretches out one rough hand to shake yours. He grips your hand tight as a vice and shakes it, hard. Say, you don't look all that busy now that we're safely on dry land. I could use someone to watch my back, and it looks like you could use someone to watch yours. I've just got a small errand to run, and then I'll be looking to get the hell out of here while I've still got a neck to collar. How about we stick together until we get out of this place? He shrugs, looking off to the side. Mercenaries. It's a job. My job. Everyone needs to make a living. I make mine running errands. He shoots you a flinty look, all teeth and peril. Lone wolves only share such information with friends. Are we going to be friends? He grins, sharp teeth glittering in the midday sun. So, before we hit the road, it's best if we decide battle strategies up front. Should keep more of our blood in. Survival's my main priority. I'll use every trick in the book to keep us alive. But if a wayfarer's not what you're after, I've got other skills. What do you need? How about I don't want to talk to you no more? I don't want you in my party. I need to get that elf check. Well, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. can do on sure think it up we've got all the time in the world to rot in here I'd like to get out of this conversation please can do he scans the horizon for threats with one green eye then nods back at you right you are lead the way
Thank you for your help with that, thug. Humans hate us both the same here. This is so strange. To be vulnerable in a place like this is tough. You may keep your shame for yourself. An open heart knows the difference between right and wrong. It is not wrong to walk in the camp. It is wrong to assault one walking. You walk among the humans too long if you think differently. It gives me great pain. I'm with my family. We are making beautiful magic. We are healing a tree cut down with great violence. The Magister's come. My family runs, but I fall. My son looks back. I shout to him to run. I am taken. I hear of no escapes. The only way out is through. Through the Magisters, through their cure. Thugs, I can stand, but oh, I fear the Magisters. In this cave, we trust Sahela. She is young, but she sees. She knows more than we know. In the camp, the brute Griff rules. He who gives the bread has the power. Wait, before you go. I am not here without your help. I do not forget this. For you, a prize. I save it for a special occasion, but I can think of no finer occasion than this. Thank you. I feel him, but I do not see him. Got you! Oh, I got you! Oops. I magicked you! You're dead! This guy wants to kill Alexander. This guy is crazy. So, time to find this Boris fellow. You're too slow. You can't huh. get me. You've read my contract. What does that look in your eye mean? Maybe. He sniffs the wind, gazing out across the dilapidated buildings of Fort Joy, as if looking for something. But maybe it's going to work out. I've got a contract, a man on the inside, and now you. You know what? Maybe I will run with this guy. But I'm... What's, what does a Wayfarer do? Can I check that? We'll get that to a second, I guess. Good to know. And likewise, with whatever errands of your own you have. Looks like we might be stuck with them. Means that we're gonna get rid of them. The 
The young girl's eyes are covered, but she turns towards you when you approach. She smiles as though she recognizes you, though she couldn't have seen your face. I think I broke it. I see it before my eyes. You do someday. <laughs> it is not so bad. I know which days have bread and which days have none. I know more bread comes someday. It helps. Her eyebrows shoot up. There can be a way. Amiro knows. But he is gone. Do you see him? He knows how to leave. My protector, my friend. An elf like me, with a spirit bright as new leaves. He tries to help me, to save me. And he suffers very much. He is caught by those who hurt him. I wish so much for his return. And he tells you what you seek. A way out. I know I can trust you. I see it before my eyes. I see something that helps. I see a lizard. He is a lizard of many dreams, of far feeling. You do not free Amiro without him. Yes, please ask. Oh, I do not cover my eyes. I cover the place they used to be. They are gone now, taken. But I see all the same. He is a very blind man. He sees things but not truth, not love or joy. I feel very sorry for him. You understand when you meet him, after you escape. It is safer here. We make no trouble for Griff. He makes no trouble for us. My home is far. Your language gives me some trouble. We elves... Time, for us, is now. There is not then and when. I... knew we must be here. I am not sure how much to explain. You are here, and so we are here. No one tells me there are so many children in this Fort Joy. Magisters I handle, but small ones. Well, not your kind of small. You understand. You know what they do? They play a game called Scream. In this game, they see who screams the loudest. I feel the Divine's loss so sharply during Scream. State your business. Certainly. You may not be a lizard, but your kind are hardly so bad as the humans. If it's trade you're looking for, I've made a habit of procuring items that can prove rather useful inside these walls. That's for you to decide. Hey! 
I'm... I'm Buddy. It's... It's no use anyway. You're... You're nice. Emmy would have... Emmy would have loved you. Must be nice. Emmy was the only one who ever cared about me. She was my mate for the last seven, carried the two, plus fifty. Five years! The Magisters, they took her. I love you. Say, let me show you something. Good find. The dog focuses at the cat at your feet, baring its teeth and growling. The cat's eyes are clouded and grey, but it stares at you with acute intensity. Hmm. What? How did I get... Hey, stop following me. Me? I know who I am. Or at least I think I do. Sometimes it feels like... No, I know who I am. Who are you? You think books have the answer? No. I mean, I think I... The cat shakes its head, as if trying to wake up from a deep sleep. The cat opens his mouth as if to speak, but his eyes lose focus, and with a jerk he turns away from you. The cat's eyes are clouded and grey, but it stares at you with acute intensity. Hmm. What? How did I get... Hey, stop what? No, that can't be. I can't... Hey, stop following me. Huh? Yeah, fine. I'm fine. I just... I'm not sure. It's all a little foggy. The cat opens his mouth as if to speak. Oh, hey, hey! I thought you might be Emmy. Oh, it's, it's nice to see you. Key? What key? Oh, the key! The magister who took Emmy dropped it when he was walking away. Did someone say Emmy? If you find out where it leads, if you see Emmy, tell her I miss her. Not too far from here, but she was taken by a guy in a white robe who smelled horrible. Like lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of dogs. And also a little like, like dead people. He dragged her into the big castle just there. I'm so worried about her. I think I love you. Ooh. Mm. Say, do all lizards smell like oranges, or is it just that crazy fellow with the pointy tail? As you approach the blacksmith, you feel a bony hand on your arm. Fane leans in and whispers in your ear. If it would be acceptable, I have an inquiry for this human. It is of a personal nature. And if it would not be acceptable, well, that would render this entire conversation rather awkward.
Fane approaches the blacksmith and quietly speaks to her. You can't overhear much, but he seems to be gesturing towards her head an awful lot. Fane's words are quiet, but you hear the blacksmith repeat, Face Ripper, in shock. She slowly starts to back away. What is it with creeps like you and Master Niles? I told him to slither back to his dungeon, and you can get too, freak! Fane backs away, scratching his head. It seems that didn't go as he'd expected. He is lost in thought, though. She must have said something he found interesting. Ah, there's Losi. Uh, but we're actually going to end it here for today. And um, we're going to resume and we're going to grab Losi. We're going to get rid of... Uh, Whatever this guy is, man. Ifan. 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 Um, screw that guy, man. Wayfair. Who wants to be a freaking Wayfair? Ain't nobody want to be that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, uh, we might stream tomorrow. Um, it'll probably be in the morning. Uh, it'll be in, uh, spurts because, uh, I'd like to convert these into YouTube videos. And if I stream for too long youtube doesn't let me do that but anyways um yeah we'll see you about streaming tomorrow and uh thanks for watching appreciate it uh see you next time peace